everyone, and welcome back to Work Tech. We're continuing this Greenhouse Open video series. Uh, Greenhouse Open is happening May 24th and 25th at the Javits Center in New York City. And uh, you can click in the uh, article here and save your seat, or if you're watching on YouTube, it's in the notes. Um, but Greenhouse Open is one of my favorite events. Uh, it happens in the spring. It's great to be in New York City at that time, and it's great to be surrounded by HR and talent acquisition professionals and innovators like the one we have to talk to today. So I'm hosting the Improve Your Tech Stack track at Greenhouse Open. And also appearing on that track is Troy Sultan, the CEO and co-founder of Guide, uh, which is a candidate experience platform. Welcome, Troy. Thanks so much, George. Excited to be here. Yeah, well, I'd, I'd love to start with an intro for anyone that doesn't know you or Guide, just a little bit about yourself and a little bit about Guide and, and what it is that you do. Yeah, so my uh, background, like many, started by, like many in recruiting, started with, you know, my, my PhD in, in recruiting, and uh, that's a joke. Yeah. I tripped and fell into recruiting, like many people do, <laughs> um, really young and really naive, and the only time I'd ever heard of the word recruiting was in a college football context, I think, at the time, and um, I started to really realize that, for me, this... Uh, there was a connection with like how impactful hiring the best people was on the business. And there seemed to be a huge disconnect with um, how important people were to a business's success. Yet um, the technology ecosystem and investment dollars and the tooling that was available didn't seem commensurate to how important it was. And like, that was something I sat with early in my career and um, would end up, uh, founding a couple companies to sort of take my stab at helping uh, improve that a little bit with a company called Resource, which we previously sold to Gem. That was a sourcing and CRM platform uh, for recruiting teams. Uh, okay. And now with Guide, um, our latest um, company, uh, which is a uh, candidate experience platform that's uh, designed to help companies win more hires um, by delivering a hyper-personalized candidate experience at scale. That's uh, that's really interesting. I didn't realize you had that in your uh, in your background. That this isn't your first rodeo. So that's uh, that's that's pretty cool. Um, and the PhD thing, you almost got me because I meet people now who uh, like I fell into, or I don't know if recruiting found me or I found it, but uh, okay. that's the way most of the stories go. But now I meet people with you know degrees in HR, and they they pick this. And so I, I, I was holding back my chuckle there on you. The joke was good. <laughs> you got me. So uh, tell me more about uh, the platform and the, uh, you know, the, you touched at a high level on, on the problem that you're solving, but how does it fit into the recruiting tech stack or the work tech, you know, ecosystem and, and uh, what is it, you know, what, what is it really, what are candidates experience when they uh, experience guide? So the core like thesis underlying guide is that in our view, the primary challenge in recruiting has actually shifted from reaching the candidate, which has long been a big challenge in recruiting, um, to now actually winning the candidate. Hmm. You have awesome technology, sourcing tools, um, and with a click of a button in many cases, we can get right in front of the candidate in their inbox with with. Um, great follow-up ability and CRM functionality so we don't drop balls. But the challenge is really like getting candidates to engage with that content and, and telling a story that's compelling enough um, for them to stay engaged, not just at the top of the funnel with like a sourcing email, but all the way through to offer accept when it's in a hyper-competitive market and they're getting very similar um, approaches by many companies. So how do you stand out um, as a company and um, bring candidates through to the end of the process. That's the problem that we think about. And the way to think about us in relation to like the ATS, which I think is a very helpful comparison is in a lot of ways, we believe and see the ATS as the organization's window out to their world of candidates. This is the way recruiting teams, this is the lens through which they see their candidate pipeline. Okay. And in our view, there is no equivalent window for the candidate into the company today. And so, um, in other words, there is no 
a home base where the candidate lives throughout their interview process in the same way that the recruiter and recruiting team lives in the ATS. So in that sense, you can think about guide like the external half of the ATS that never existed. And we integrate deeply with uh, Greenhouse in particular. And as you move candidates, if you're a recruiter moving a candidate from one stage to the next in Greenhouse, um, guide serves as a portal that the candidate's living in their home base throughout the process. And we automatically, as a candidate gets moved from one stage to another, we update the candidate with their new status, with new information on how to prepare for the next stage, with new company content that we can unlock as candidates get deeper in the process, understanding who they're going to talk to about what, what's their schedule, where are the links, what collateral resources, prep material might they want to read beforehand. And then we can also, by virtue of getting the candidate out of their email inbox, which is a pretty chaotic, uh, you know, chaotic place for candidates to be during a job search, and getting them onto a web page. We can also help the company with new insights on how engaged is each candidate at the individual yeah. level during the interview process, what content is most helpful for them, and who might be like most in need of that phone call or a prep call, and who might be totally capable and prepared uh, and ready given the information you've shared. So it's a little bit of shining a light where we previously had a blind spot as a recruiting team. Um, and all of this just gets delivered to a candidate with a unique link. We create a magic link when a candidate enters your ATS, you send it to the candidate and that's that candidate's link throughout their hiring process. And it's always up to date with the most uh, relevant information that you want them to see at each stage. Yeah, I, I like the sounds of so much of that. The um, you know ex candidate experience is something that um, the industry has been talking about for so long, but it really, uh, ha it hasn't improved, um, you know, and the, uh, when I look outside of recruiting, I look at, you know, B2C or B2B, um, you know, experience marketing platforms. I see so much of that kind of personalization. And I really, you know, I feel like we're at this place where the technology is there. Uh, and it, it's, it's good to hear that, you know, greenhouse customers and not just greenhouse customers, but guide customers can, uh, can leverage that kind of approach uh, to provide that, that experience. Um, so uh, what what kinds of companies are using your product? Are there certain you know profiles that uh, make someone a, a better fit for for guide? Yeah, I think so. I, I would summarize in saying that guide today solves two um, different problems for two different types of customer. There's the like growth stage company, you know, one, two, three hundred employees that's trying to like double headcount. They don't, um, they don't have a super well-known brand, maybe they're B2B, and they, they really need a competitive edge. They're competing against the pre and post IPO darlings. Um, and we help them tell a really compelling story, truly differentiate their candidate experience and stick out amongst all of their talent competitors. And then there's the like 1,000 plus more mature company that's pretty well known, has a good brand, one to 5,000 people. And they're scaling their recruiting team from, you know, 25 people up to, you know, 100 or so. And depending on which recruiter the candidate gets, they get an entirely different experience. Mm -hmm. There's like collateral that's floating all throughout the company. There's one pagers that are created manually by each recruiter or slide decks that are getting forked by different people. And the talking points are different. And there's no standardization of the candidate experience. There's no central command and control to ensure that the delivery uh, of a great experience is the norm. And so guide serves as that like way to streamline, centralize, and standardize a better unified candidate experience. So recruiters can come in and do what recruiters do best, like the art of the recruiting role, and just ensure that like there's a baseline of information and collateral prep materials always being shared, always available to candidates on demand when they want it. Yeah, yeah. Um, that makes a lot of sense, um, especially, I know you've had success with Greenhouse's customer base and that sort of flow from, you know, smaller to middle market and moving upstream, that, that, that just is very much in alignment with where I would have expected. So you mentioned the, you talked a little bit about the integration earlier as a Greenhouse partner um, with a, a, a customer's experience um, getting going. Is this, um, 
what's that like? Is it, um, you know, has the work already been done and uh, it's just a matter of configuration or, you know, what's, what's it like for a customer who wants to uh, start using guide? When a customer onboards with guide and connects greenhouses, uh, the greenhouse integration, um, what we'll do is we'll actually mirror all of their greenhouse setup in guide. So we'll take the structure of their interview process for each role. We'll take the interview kit interviews. We'll bring all that over to guide. And then what, so it, that happens automatically. And so what the customer gets to do is decide what of my greenhouse data do I want to overwrite to make more candidate friendly? So if I have an interview called, um, you know, phone screen, I might actually want that to display to the candidate um, named intro chat, hmm. which we like to do. And we just tweak our language to be a little more candidate friendly uh, and um, personal, uh, you know, representing our personality externally. And so we can do that very easily in guides. So you can tweak that um, to your liking. And then outside of that, we import all of your brand materials, your logo, your brand colors, et cetera. And then you can also upload, you know, uh, content and tell guide when to unlock it. So when a candidate gets to the on-site stage, unlock these videos of our customers sharing a testimonial about using our product. And at the last stage, unlock a video or a blog post about an employee talking about their experience working here. Um, and as you you know, we like to talk about the progressive reveal um, a lot of our customers use, which is as the candidate gets later in the process, the company's unlocking more sensitive information. For example, like if you get to the last step of our interview process, we unlock the deck that we used uh, to raise our last financing round. So a candidate's going to understand like the behind the scenes look at like our financials and a bunch of other things. And so um, it's just an, it, 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 the, the, the creativity of the customer comes into play and we see a range of ways that like um, content is being used and storytelling is being used depending on the company um, to align with like their values and the story that they want to tell in their recruiting process. Yeah, that's awesome. I mean, the the work that's been done to implement Greenhouse, right? With all, all you know, you kind of throw it out there. Oh, you know, we pull all that structure over. That's that's huge that uh, that that automatically happens uh, because a, a lot of a lot of integrations uh, don't go that far, right? It, it opens the door, right, via an API, and that saves a lot of time and, and work and money uh, to, to get things going. And you're really focusing on the experience from what I'm hearing, not the, not the, the API, right? Uh, that's, that's already been done. So um, let's shift gears a little in the sake of time. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm curious what you're excited about for open or is there anything in particular you're looking forward to? Yeah, there's actually a lot of speakers um, covering topics that I find quite energizing to hear being talked about. Like I know, like I've of course have a huge um, amount of skin in the game around candidate experience because, you know, I deeply care and I believe it's important and I believe that there's a business case for it. And um you know, seeing that it is kind of coming to the fore and candidates have a voice and I can see it threaded throughout a lot of the themes uh, of open, quite excited about. Um, and just seeing a lot of what Greenhouse has been doing on this front as well. Um, I'm excited to kind of be in the conversation with some of the folks at the, the tip of the spear when it comes to recruiting right now. And, um, you know, in our mind, there's no better conference to be at, um, to be talking about the most progressive edge of, of talent. Yeah. And uh, you've got a session, right? You've got uh, what, what's your uh, talk or panel or what are you doing at, at open? What's, what's that all about? Yeah. Um, we'll, we'll be, uh, I'll be moderating a session with a, a handful of, of guide customers actually um, to talk about the topic of how to uh, get creative to win candidates in an extremely competitive market. We're hearing over and over that candidates are dropping out. Pass to rates are low. Offer accept rates are low and are decreasing. Um, and so we bring a few of our customers who have really creative practices that are doing an exceptional job in our view to talk about like some of their practices and they all have very different approaches. And there's so much um, that we see being done. Um, our software aside or software at all aside using um, really creative one pagers, Google Docs to um, create transparency or um, fun practices that um, recruiting teams enjoy that create a lot of goodwill with candidates. And so we wanna bring that stuff to, to light and. Um, help folks walk away with like stuff they can implement that day with no budget and no extra tooling. Cool. 
Well, I'll look forward to that. I'll be there and uh, yeah. I'll look, look forward to learning uh, all about that. And I, I really am looking forward to meeting you in person and uh, seeing your session, learning more about guide. Um, and of course, anybody else that's interested in uh, meeting Troy uh, and learning more about guide will have ample opportunity at open. It's taking place on May 24th and 25th at the Javits Center. Uh, there's a link here to register and save your seat. I know there'll also be some virtual sessions um, and uh, you do not need to be a greenhouse customer to be there. In fact, I've met plenty of folks over the years who aren't, who are really just getting a feel for the industry. And Troy, I want to thank you for your time today. I know you're busy and I uh, really appreciate your uh, telling your story here. Thanks so much for having me. It was a blast. And thanks everyone for, uh, for watching. We'll see you at open.